or while they're coming out, it's going to grab that old ATA out of the POA, and it's going to meet them at ESP2. And Rick and Claire go straight to ESP2, or they're going to take that adjustable grapple bar off the ATA and put it back on the spare FHRC where they got it on EVA1. So while they're installing that on the FHRC, uh, the arm's going to take that old ATA and maneuver it back to the payload bay. So Clay's going to grab his foot restraint that he left at the end of EVA1, take it with him, and Rick and Clay will configure themselves around the LMC uh, to put the old ATA onto the LMC for return uh, in the same positions they were in when they took the new ATA off the LMC. So you can see Clay installing the APFR here. He'll get in the foot restraint. Uh, the arm will bring the uh, ATA in close. The crew will take hold of it, bring it down to soft dock, and install the, install the full four bolts that hold it onto the LMC. And, one, and here's some NBL footage of Rick bringing that ATA down to soft dock position. And once they've done that, then we will have successfully installed a new ATA into the S1 truss and have the old ATA on the LMC uh, ready for return and refurbishment. So when they're, when they're done there, Clay's going to grab that fixed grapple bar off the ATA. He's going to put it on his body restraint tether. He'll translate down the payload bay, down the uh, station, and install it on the bottom side of the new ATA that they just installed. They put it here as just a plate. A, place to uh, temporarily stow it until it's needed again in the future. So here's some MBL footage of Rick installing that fixed grapple bar onto the bottom side of the new ATA. It's now fully installed and fully activated. So while Rick is doing that, Clay is going to grab his foot restraint off the LMC and he's going to start setting up to do some tasks on Dexter. So you can see the foot restraint flashing there. And here's a view of what it'll look like outside the cupola windows. And you can see the foot restraint flashing in the background. That's Clay at the LMC. And the arms can start maneuvering to the Columbus module, to the exposed facility on the end of the Columbus. So Clay will grab the foot restraint. And he will translate out to Columbus himself and meet the arm there. And once both Clay and the arm get to the, uh, the Columbus, uh, Clay will install the foot restraint onto the arm. You see the arm meeting him there. And he'll get in that foot restraint, and then he's going to uh, disconnect the lightweight adapter plate assembly, assembly, or LAWAPA. The LAWAPA is a big plate that we use to hold other things onto the Columbus module. So he'll unbolt it, and the arm's going to fly him back to the payload bay. So here's another view of what that might look like uh, from the cupola windows. You can see the Loapa flashing in blue. So the arm will fly him, fly Clay in, to, back to the, to the LMC, actually. It's going to fly him upside down, because he's going to bolt the Loapa to the bottom of the LMC, right underneath where the old ammonia tank is bolted to the top of the LMC. So here's some animation of showing him do that, and here's some MBL footage of what that looks like with Clay upside down. Uh, bolting the low WAP in place. Once Clay has completed that task, and Rick will be there helping him get it in place uh, at the LMC, uh, the arm's going to fly uh, Clay over to Dexter, where he's going to install a camera unit. And Dexter has one camera on it right now and has a place for two, so he'll take that camera that's flashing in blue and he'll install it in the second location. Here's some MBL footage of him installing that camera. It's the white box in his hands. That'll give Dexter two cameras that he can use for future operations. Uh, once he's done with that, the arm's going to fly him up just a little bit where he's going to remove a thermal blanket off Dexter that's no longer needed. And he'll put that blanket in the bag that he used to carry the camera out there. And once he has that camera installed and the blanket removed from Dexter, the arm will fly him back to the Columbus module where he got on the arm. And he's going to get off the arm, take his foot restraint off, and clean up uh, the arm. Make sure it's clear. And he'll take his foot restraint back to Node 2 and install it and leave it there for a future EV crew to use. And 
while Clay is doing these tasks on Dexter, you know, this is a one-person operation, uh, Rick has a few tasks of his own. Uh, he'll be heading back to the lab, the U.S. lab module, and there's a camera on a post on the lab, and that camera has a light on it that just burned out. So Rick's going to come up to that camera, he's going to remove the old light and install a new one. See that light flashing there? And here's some MBL footage of Rick installing that light on the camera that's on the post that's on the lab. Once he's done with that, he'll head back to the airlock and he'll put the old light in the airlock. And he's going to grab two more of those radiator grapple fixture stowage beams. So on EVA2, they installed two of those on the port side. Rick will come to the starboard radiator beam, but this time he'll come to the top side of it and he'll install those two radiator grapple fixture stowage beams uh, himself. Once he's done with that, he will head back to ESP2, where he's going to grab a worksite extender, worksite interface extender, a WIF extender. This basically is a device that allows us to get more reach with our foot restraints. He's going to remove it from ESP2 and take it over to the mobile base system, and he's going to install that. And the next flight, STS-132, is going to use uh, the WIF extender in that location. So this is another get-ahead for the next flight to help prepare them. And Rick and Clay should be finishing up about the same time doing all these tasks. So this will they'll head back to the joint airlock and finish up EVA-3 and our series of three EVAs. So I'd like to take a moment also to, to thank my team for helping put these EVAs together. They've done a whole lot of work over the last year. Uh, John Malarski and Shelley Mulhern. And Sabrina Gilmore, Jordan Lindsay, and Jay Berger have all helped out a whole lot with this.